both first half. You know, what what were the main issues in that in those first two quarters, and then what turned around in the third quarter to get you guys back in the game? Well, you know, to start the game, I actually thought we were doing some some good things. Uh, you know, pressure wise, defensively, uh, and then we move the ball. We had some wide open looks. I think we started off the game 0 for 14, you know, from three. That That's going to happen. Uh, but once it got to double digit misses um, and some open ones, I think that affected, you know, our level of concentration down the other end. We had uh, for about a six minute period, um, you know, some, some breakdowns uh, defensively and they want to run, but we still got it to seven points. So games are long. Um, our guys, you know, sh- showed some good grit just to stick with it and had, had a good start to the third quarter. Uh, and then, you know, I think there was a couple of loose balls that won right by by our bench uh, that led to a three. You know, that kind of just helped them create, you know, some separation and some some breathing room down the stretch. Um, next we have Ira Winderman. Eric, you spoke to us uh, before the game how it was just good to see guys back around the team and to see Jimmy on the bench and exhorting his teammates and really invested the entire game. How did yeah. that feel for you as a coach? Look, the, the spirit of our group is is great. You know, that's why I, I said it when we came back from or after the last game. You know, I, I love the way this group just keeps on, you know, coming back and and not making excuses for anything. Uh, it was great, you know, to see the guys, uh, everybody, uh, even though everybody wasn't available, it's just good to see our, our whole group uh, together. Um, you know, and nobody feels good, you know, when we, when we, you know, play like this. Um, but, you know, the good thing about the NBA and the good thing about our schedule is we get to come back, you know, tomorrow night and, and get after it again. There was a stretch there in the second period, I believe it was, when Precious and Bam played together. I know that you were shorthanded and had to try different combinations, but what was your thought for that, like, five or six-minute stretch when the two of them played together? Thank you. Yeah, I'll have to look, you know, but we have to do whatever, you know, we think is necessary at this point. You know, we are down uh, some guys, uh, you know, and they're, they're going on a run. You know, at that point in the second quarter, regardless of, of who we had out there. Uh, next, we have Cooper Moorhead. This for another night where um, not entirely would to do to him, but Bam had to shoulder even more of the playmaking load than he usually would have to. Um, I was wondering what you thought about, you know, rather than Brooklyn leaving, you know, Bam one on one on an island, Denver threw a lot of different looks at him, threw, threatened with a lot of different help coverages. Yeah. Are those important reps for him to go through? Yeah, I mean, he's learning uh, on the fly how to generate offense, you know, for us uh, when teams are specifically game planning against him. You know, when he had it in, in the short post, uh, they were bringing the baseline help or trap uh, early on him, which is a different look. Um, you know, if we get to our spacing, um, you know, he's a willing passer, and a gifted passer with his size. And we should be able to still generate open looks from that. Um, we just weren't able to do it consistently enough, and that's a credit to their defense too. They, you know, they they seemed like uh, they had a, their hands on a lot of balls. Up next, we have WSVN Channel Seven. Good evening, Eric. Uh, you mentioned about the spirit of the team. Uh, tomorrow night, they're going to they will allow up to two thousand fans inside the arena as we try to get some sense of normalcy. What does that mean for the team? At least fans are coming back. Look, we think it's a, an incredible, you know, step. Uh, I've, I've said before, you know, we have to continue to be vigilant uh, and and do things with uh, discipline, with a lot of thought, uh, and uh, and and always keep in mind the health and safety uh, as a as a number one factor, but having people in the building, you know, that's what our guys play for, you know, for the fans and uh, to have a little bit of an environment. Um, you know, if it's like how we felt during the preseason game when we played uh, in Tampa and they had, you know, maybe a couple hundred fans, or I don't know how many they had in there. It felt like 10,000. It'll probably have that kind of feel uh, as well. 
Thank you, Eric. All right, that's it, Coach. Thank you. Thank you.